Okay, so we're given this bit on the left hand side and we're asked to rearrange it into this form here. Now the bit in red we don't use in our answer at all. This sign here, the triple equal sign, it just means is equivalent to, means it works for all values of x, it means it's an identity. So we're not going to use the right hand side at all in our answer, but we're going to have to have a look and see what they did to the left hand side to get to the right hand side. And what they did is they completed the square. Now there are formulas for doing this, but I do this in a slightly different way. I do this just thinking about it logically. The bit in purple, we need to make that into brackets. Okay. The way we do that is we get the x and then we take away, because it's a minus, uh, half of the number before the x in the question. Now the number before the x is 24, so that's going to be 12. Now if I expand that, I'm just think right, that's going to be the same as x minus 12, x minus 12. And so that's going to be x squared minus 12x minus 12x, so it's minus 24x. So, so far, so good, because that's what it says in the question. But then we've got that plus 144. Now, that bit there is going to be an issue, because we need to deal with that. So I'm going to rewrite the question, but putting it into brackets. So we've got the x minus 12 squared. Brilliant. But then I know that that will create 144 I don't want. So I'm going to have to take away 144. Now I'm going to show that by putting it into purple because that is exactly the same as the bit in the question. It means exactly the same thing. We'll always get the same answer. And then we've got that minus 6 at the end. So the problem is that we are given the fact that we just have a Q there. So we need to put the minus 144 and the 6 together. So it's going to be X minus 12 all squared and then minus 150. So the value for p, the bit inside the bracket, is this minus 12. Be careful to put the minus on it. And the q outside the bracket, so this q here, is minus 150.